Hello, my awesome planner friends. It is Ashley from Ashley Anderson Creates. Listen, I just posted a video of me setting up a new mini on the go happy planner, and now we are changing everything again. I'm actually going full mini. So we are going to be putting in a couple more planners into this because what I like to do is Franken planning, which means I take multiple planners and I combine them um, to keep all of my planners like together. I'll explain that a little bit more. That was probably a terrible way of explaining it. But here, what I'm doing is I'm creating a vision board for my fitness planner. And I actually have an entire video on this process showing you where I find photos, how I resize them, print them, cut them, the whole thing. And I will have that video linked down below in the description box. So that's the first thing that I'm doing is getting my vision board ready for my fitness planner. So initially with this planner, it was just gonna be an on-the-go planner I was just gonna have like top priorities of the day and my schedule in there, right? Well, then I realized a few days later after doing that, that I wasn't getting into my classic size happy planner. In my fitness planner, I wasn't getting in my social media planner. I was only looking at my mini planner. So that's when I decided, wait a minute, I need to just combine all of these together and go mini. And I'm actually excited too because summer's coming. So with a mini, there's kind of less, um, it's less time consuming not that I care so much about time with it but like when I have a classic size planner that's more decorating it's a little bit bigger I'm trying to figure out every single day how to fill it in um, so this is going to make it a little bit easier especially with the summer so that makes me super super excited but uh, we're going to get my we're going to leave my catch-all planner in here that I set up in that other video that I just posted so we'll have that one. And then I'm also going to add in my social media planner and a fitness planner. So it's gonna have my three planners that I use every day inside of this mini, uh, mini planner, if that makes sense. So this planner here is a horizontal. This one is my catch-all planner. So this is where pretty much anything and everything goes. So it's mainly though, like my schedule, um, my husband's schedule appointments, my son's routines and schedules and things like that that he has to do. And then just like a daily checklist. So that's what goes inside of this planner. And what I'm doing here is initially when I set this up, I left all the months on this planner except for a couple. Like I took out January, February, March, and then I left the rest of the year on there. But now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave April and May on the discs, and then the rest of the months I'm putting on a separate set of discs so I can store those um, outside of that planner, if that makes sense. So I'm only gonna keep a month at a time, and there's still a week left in April, so that's why I'm leaving April in there, and I went ahead and put May in. Once we get through this next week of April, I will take those monthly, that whole monthly section out of each one of my planners. So of my catch-all, out of my um, social media, and out of my fitness planner, I'll take April and I'll put those on a, a different set of discs and then we'll just have one month at a time. With a mini, you can leave a couple of months if you have a couple of different planners in there, but when you get about three or more planners when you're Franken planning and you get multiple months on the mini disc it does tend to get a little bit full and I don't mind having a junkie planner I actually enjoy it but I don't want this thing to get too bulky so I thought that that would be plenty of months to have on there now the planner that I have here this one is a vertical layout and I'm going to be using this one for my fitness planner now 
I'm probably not going to be using the vertical layout itself. I mainly am using this for the monthly section. I do not like to, like, I'm going to create probably Bujo spreads for my fitness planner in my mini. And I don't like creating a monthly page when I'm doing Bujo stuff. Um, I just, I just dread creating a monthly layout on a planner page. I don't like doing it, so I like to use a monthly section from another planner. Now, I do keep the weekly pages in there because if I want to, I can use those weekly pages for my fitness, especially on weeks when I'm busy and I don't have time to um, create a Bujo spread. only downside to this vision board is that it does stick out from the pages a little bit more like the the regular planner pages it does stick out and has like a little lip over the side it's not that big of a deal I actually cut this down so it was initially a classic size vision board and I cut it to fit inside of a mini or the protective pages were size for a classic happy planner those are also from the happy planner they are a part of their memory keeping line but I cut that down to fit inside of a mini now this planner here, this one is a dashboard layout. This is the one that I will continue using for social media. I love the dashboard layout for social media. It is perfect. Super functional, but I also have plenty of space to decorate. And then um, the sticky note that I'm putting there, I like to keep a sticky note in my planners whenever, um, like the extra month, so I can quickly get to the month that I left off one. So the way that this is going to work is I'm going to have my catch-all planner first, my social media planner second, my fitness planner third, all on one set of discs. And here I'm going to try to figure out dashboards for each and how I want those to line up. I really wish I had more clear dashboards. Um, I like being able to just open up my planner. You have that clear dashboard there. It shows me the entire week. Unfortunately, the Happy Planner hasn't made any more clear ones right now. They they have, all have designs on them, which I love. I think that they're super cute, but I still would like clear ones. Um, so I was trying to figure out which planner was going to be the lucky one to get the one clear divider that I have. Um, I think I ended up leaving it inside of my catch-all and normally the way that I think with dividers is um, I need them to go in order at the top so have the skinny dividers like on the first section have the dividers that have the tab in the middle on the second section have the divider that has a tab over on the far right side of it on the third section if that makes sense so then I know which one to get to but this time I actually went in reverse so I went from well, you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> that is really, really hard to explain in a voiceover. So now that we have the dividers in there, I'm going to take these uh, divider tabs and I'm going to label them. And these little labeling sheets, the stickers, I got those from Amazon and I will have those linked down below. I love them. There's four sheets. There's um, two different sheets. So you get two of each. So that's a 
four total. I am doing wonderful at explaining things today, aren't I? Label the dividers. I, I kept the daily one on the clear divider that was in there previously. That's what takes me to my catch-all. I have the business one. That one is what takes me to my social media planner. And then I have exercise and that is what takes me to my fitness planner. So I hopped over onto my Cricut and I made a name tag for my planner. This is this material that I have, this vinyl. It is gorgeous, you guys. Um, we found this at Walmart. I was looking for something with um, like a rose gold type deal. And there was this three, pla three pack that had rose gold. It has the black that's like this really pretty. You guys can see it right there. And then there was also another color. It was like a metallic color. All three gorgeous colors, but I really love this one. And I went ahead and I created a name tag. Now when I did this, I'm still new to using a Cricut. So I actually should have added more pressure. It would have been easier to weed this. So I know that in the future with this, this vinyl is a little bit thicker than regular vinyl because it has, um, it has a texture to it. So I should have added more pressure onto my Cricut, but I didn't, and that's okay. I mean, I still got it weeded out just fine. It all worked out okay, but um, that's just a tip for you. If you're, if you're new and you have a Cricut, learn from me. I If you get a thicker vinyl, it, it makes sense whenever I sit here and say it out loud, but I didn't even think about it when I did, when I did it, but um, just add a little bit more pressure to that. My breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. So, when I make a name label for my planner, I will take whatever size planner I have, whether it's a mini, a classic, whatever, and I will take just a regular ruler and I measure that line that the Happy Planner already has in the planner for you to write your name on. And so, in a mini, it's about three inches long. And then I will measure from the line up unto where it says like this happy planner belongs to and for this one it's about three quarters of an inch maybe a little bit less I don't know what the line is below three quarters of an inch so I can't tell you but um that's how I size it is I kind of go from there and then I look on my Cricut when I'm making it like on the screen on my computer and I make sure it's not disproportionate so it's not like super long and very short and it just doesn't look right you know what I mean so I try to size it from there but I just stay in those parameters from where I measured with the regular ruler so if you have a Cricut you're wondering how to kind of do that that's just a quick little tip for you but here we're going to stick it into my planner and I love the font that I used I don't remember off the top of my head what font I used but I did purchase a font bundle off of Etsy and that's what I use for this and I will link that down below so I'll get a link for you guys for that but I love this font it kind of matches the hello at the top it's just a little fun fun little quirky font and I love it I think it turned out super cute just to let it go. My planner friends let's go ahead and do a flip through of this setup so when we first open it up we have the name page this is where I added my name into the front finally <laughs> we have the year at a glance pages we have the yearly planning pages and I actually kept these in here this time which I normally don't I thought about maybe adding my work schedule to these pages but we'll see I haven't decided now if you want to see why that that section there is completely blank make sure you watch my other setup video where I explain why I did that. But then we dive into April. This is my catch-all planner. I just did a little bit of washi tape in the monthly section. I added my work schedule in there, kept it super simple, because at the time there was only two weeks left of April for me to use this planner. This is the current week that we are on. 
So I have my planner all set up for that week. And then this is actually the last week of April inside of there. And then we go into May. Now I haven't set May up yet. I do have a video coming up with that. This next section is my social media planner. So there's the monthly section. That's of April. I'm not going to set that one up. Again, there's only one week left at this point of April, so there's no point in setting up that monthly section. But I will be setting up May, and I will film that, and I will share that with you guys. This last section is my fitness planner. That is my, my pretty little vision board. I love the vision boards, you guys. And then we have the last week of April, and we have May inside of here. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to set up the monthly section of April. There's no point. And then this right here is a notes section in the back and this is where I keep a ton of note paper and then I also have some dot grid paper that I stuck back there just a few minutes ago um, that was actually classic size happy planner paper and I cut it down to fit a mini because I needed some more plain dot grid so whenever I do my bujo fitness spreads but that my friends is my new setup going mini y'all I'm so excited for it and I am absolutely loving it Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.